Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the mod showcase for Planet Zoo. Hope you guys are having the most wonderful of wonderful days. We have a lot of animals to check out, a lot of tiny little fellas in here. But before we do get started with that, I do want to say that modding is officially not endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of, you know, you might not be able to load into your game or something like that. Your game might crash. But if you join the modding server, link in the description down below and make sure that you're installing up-to-date mods following all the instructions. You guys will be just fine. Now, before we do get started, I want to apologize. Typically, I like to dress these habitats up a little bit more, but I was so excited to get into all of, like, the 25, maybe even, like, 30, 35 new species that we got this week. Uh, really, really insane to see all these animals. So let's get started. Let's check out the black swan. You guys might remember the black swan from Narwhaler. Well, he upgraded it. And now it's officially on the new mute swan rig, and it looks beautiful. They even have their own custom little goslings. Look at them. Super adorable. Listen to their little pee. But yes, the black swan is an Australian species. It is found in Australia. Really beautiful creature over here. I don't know. So if you guys do want, like, a different kind of swan for your water parks or something like that, this is the really perfect one for that. They look sinister. They look kind of satanic. I don't know. But I really do love how good Narwhaler made this turn out. Especially with, like, you know, the beautiful wings over here. That turned out pretty damn cool. Uh, of course, these guys do probably have interspecies enrichment, do they? They do, with all your classic Australian animals. So if you guys are planning on, like, a little Australian walkthrough, you guys can easily add these guys in there. Super awesome creature, but moving on from there, we have the Black Neck Swan. This one is a little bit different. It's not completely black. It's only black on the neck. It's found in South America, right over here, Falkland Islands, Chile, Argentina, yada yada. It does have some interspecies enrichments with some South American species, but look at these guys. Again, another beautiful job by Narwhaler on these. He did a very impressive job with like the knob on the beak right there. And again, custom goslings. These guys are a little bit whiter than your typical goslings, so it's always so cool to see. I don't know, just a really solid species over here. Incredible job, Narwhaler. Really do love to see that. Now, honestly, I'm too excited to get into this stuff. Let's check this out right now. You guys might notice that these frogs look a little bit different. And that is because new species frogs and the new exhibit species are officially figured out. Yes, yeah, so now we can actually put mixing them together. Thanks to the technology from like the butterflies, we were able to figure out how to actually get multiple species of different exhibit animals to stay in the same box. So you can see in here, we have the phantasmal poison dart frog. We have the strawberry poison dart frog. We have the tiger striped tree frog, yellow banded tree frog, yellow banded poison dart frog, whatever you want to throw in here. We have them all. It is insane. So this is an incredible mod by Narwhaler and Scott. And also with the help of Hexabit, they were able to compile these all into one handy dandy little pack. I found that so cool. So if you guys are into that, you can easily add 15 new frog species into your game. It's so awesome. I mean, look at that guy. Look at him. He's so cool. The other cool thing about this mod is that it also affects in-game frogs too. So if you want to combine your tree frogs with your poison dart frogs now, you can absolutely do that. You can see that we have one of these guys right down here. And then the other one, the red-eyed tree frog, is probably somewhere around here. Let's see where he is. There he is. Right there. On the leaf. There you go. He's doing so good. But not only did we get that, we also got new walkthrough species. So I'm trying to find the flying ones in here. But we did get the hammerhead bat. I worked on this way back in the day with Jen. Uh, she did the model. I did the texture for it. We finally were able to get it out. Don't mind me. I'm just adding a few more to this box. But uh, yeah, we're super happy that we were able to get this one out because I don't know. Having a new bat species in here is always the coolest damn thing, especially the hammerhead bat. I want to find one that's actually flying. Let me select you, please. Where are you? All right, there we go. So you can see that they do have that little bit of a funny nose right there. These guys are honestly, like, terrifying in real life. They are an African bat species. 
Uh, they just have, like, the craziest stuff in, like, those African jungles. I don't know. Some really cool animals. But these guys turned out really freaking awesome. I'm so happy with how well they turned out. And you can see, they can fly, which is always so cool. But last but not least, in terms of the new exhibit species, we also have the sloth. So we were able to combine them all into like the same exhibit box again. Uh, so we have your typical three toed sloth right here, but more importantly, we have the Linnaeus and the Hoffman sloth right down here. Let's see, which one is which? I honestly forget. Hoffman's is like the lighter faced one, kind of like a little bit of a pinker nose. Why is my camera doing this? Uh, so here's the Linnaeus, has that classic little black nose right there. I worked on these with Gaboy. I'm so happy that they're finally out because these are the species we were always meant to have in the game. Uh, but no, the Three Toed Sloth kind of beat it out, which is a little bit of a shame. Again, my camera is just all over the place right now. But super happy with these guys. Again, you can see that they have all their enrichment in here as typical. Uh, they have all their climbing posts, basking lights, hanging chairs, whatnot. Super awesome, you can throw a whole bunch of these guys in the exhibit together, and they will be the cutest damn things in the world. Look at them. All right, let's get back to those ducks. All right, what do we have right here? We have the trumpeter swan. Again, just a very simple species. These guys are known for their beautiful white bodies and a little bit of a black uh, beak with a little bit of red on there. Super awesome species right there. These guys are more of an Arctic species. You can see they're found kind of like up here. Nardwhaler even did like a custom like, oh, they're found here in the breeding time and whatnot. Super awesome. Super awesome stuff right there. No interspecies enrichment, which is a little bit of shame. If you guys want that, go annoy Narwhaler on his Nexus page about that. But really, it's another beautiful species. They have these at the Bronx Zoo, at their like northern pond section. Really, really awesome creature and super happy that we get even more swans. And speaking of more swans, we are not done just yet. We have our first paleo swan. This is the Maltese dwarf swan. I know a lot of people are talking about the giant swan that's extinct, but Scott was like, you know what? I'm going to bring the tiny one in. So this is just a small little guy. If we get a uh, angry peep over here, if I could spell right, you could see that these guys are very tiny. They are smaller than like your kneecaps or something like that. But it's a really beautiful species, really super happy with how well Scott was able to get this texture down. And yeah, it's just another extinct animal for your extinct animal zoo. So happy to see that. Of course, the Canadian Nightmare. We have the Canadian Goose over here by Narwhaler. Originally, it was made by Bongo, but Narwhaler stepped in and usurped the throne for Canada for that terrorizing little creature right there. Look how beautiful this came out. Of course, Canadian geese are found pretty much all over North America at this point. Uh, you can see breeding is up north, year round is kind of like in the middle, and then wintertime, they all go south down there. No interspecies enrichment again. Oh my gosh, Nyerweiler, come on. It's like the best part to add to animals. I don't know. But they do have these custom little goslings too. Look how adorable. That's so cute. This guy's just drowning himself right now. But I'm so happy with how well these feathers turned out. Oh my gosh, look at that job right there. Such a beautiful creature. I know so many people kind of like shit on the Canadian geese for being annoying, but they are just such beautiful creatures. I mean, look at that dappling on the back right there. Look at like that beautiful patterning on the face. They're so cool. What's the saying that goes, if the Canadian goose has one fan, I'm that fan. If they have no fans, I'm dead. Yeah, that's me. Moving on from there, we're going to a little bit of a warmer climate. We have a Nene, otherwise known as a Hawaiian goose. These guys are probably one of my favorite waterfowl in the entire world. And look at this extremely beautiful texturing job that Narwhaler did on these guys. Again, super awesome model for that. It's going to serve as a wonderful base for like more geese in the future. But look how adorable these guys are. Oh my gosh. And they're goslings too. Look at that. So cute, look at them. But yeah, again, just a very beautiful mod. Again, no interspecies enrichment, though I can't really blame them for that because there's like no other Hawaiian animals. We all killed them all. But still, incredible job. And guess what? We're not even done with waterfowl. We are going back to great cake mods with the Paradise Shell Duck. I believe this is a New Zealand species. 
yeah, they're from New Zealand. They also have interspecies enrichment with the kiwi, which is always fun. But look at these guys. They have really, really awesome sexual dimorphism. So you can see these males, no, these females have white heads and these very beautiful colors. And the males actually have this entirely black body, which typically is what you would expect to be the opposite. Like you'd expect the males to be a lot more vibrant, but no, not in this case. That's kind of weird. They also do have these little baby ducks. Look at these little ducklings. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest damn thing in the world. Super awesome, great job. Super awesome, great job. That's great word placement right there, Leaf. Amazing job, Great Cake. Always do love to see your mods. Now, Ginger Toast is back, and he made this gorgeous, gorgeous black neck crane. Black neck stork, so sorry about that. But what I love about these guys are the iridescence patterns on this entire animal. Look at this. So I'm you have to place it in game for you to see it yourself really. But he actually used the iridescence from the blue penguin as a way to create this insane insane effect on the neck feathers over there. It turned out awesome. Like I can't get over how gorgeous this animal looks. It looks so shiny and that's not to mention like all the beautiful intricacies of the model itself. As you guys probably know, Monsoon and Ginger hate the crane model. It is not the best thing to work with but they absolutely love taking the time to really make sure that the feathers make sense, to make sure that the rig makes sense. It is awesome what they did with it. But yeah, just a beautiful animal at that. Look at that. Insanely well done. Now we have another paleo mod over here. We have the Paleo Saniwa. Yeah, good luck trying to pronounce that, Leaf. I don't even know. But regardless, this guy is beautiful. Another reptile by Scott, which is always the best damn thing in the world to see grace your nexus page. These guys have an insane looking pattern. Let's read about these guys a little bit more. So yep, they are a late Cretaceous species from North America. Very, very cool. I don't know. I just always do love to learn about these like extinct creatures. I don't know. And especially even though I don't really have any extinct zoos going on right now, I know so many people out there do. And it's just so awesome. We get these very obscure looking extinct animals in your parks just because I don't know. They're like the weirdest little goobers in the world. So beautiful job to Scott on that right there. Now let's get into remaster territory. The Red Kangaroo Remaster, I don't even know what else there is to say. This is, like, the best remaster out there. You guys know I love my Australian animals. You guys know how much I care about them. And this one in particular turned out so freaking good. I can't even get over it. The original Red Kangaroo is not that good. It was good back in the day, but compared to Frontier's, like, latest dips into, uh, like, realism and, like, realistic-looking animal models... This is more up to speed with that. Look at that. What I am so impressed by. Like, the body is great. The texturing is great. But look at that face. Like, look at all the detail in the face now. Look how it does not look like a dog anymore. It actually does look like a marsupial, which is always so incredible to see. Like, I can't get over how awesome Gaboy is at remastering animals. But this one, this one is just the best. Really quick one right over here, Narwhaler and like 50 other modders. It's a joke. Don't worry about it. They actually created... What? Okay. I don't know what happened back there. There's a quick little pit fix to the wild boar eyes. Originally, it had like dog eyes. No idea why. But Narwhaler was very quick to update those textures and get that guy looking mighty fine. And the Jaguar also got a gorgeous remaster. Oh my god. I want to get some more of these guys in here because it, it just doesn't go to show how gorgeous this is. But look at this guy. Good boy was able to add a few new textures to this and do some general improvements to the model. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Now you can see like every muscle in the animal. It is insane just to see that. It is beautiful. Those rosettes turned out so good. Where's the other ones? Come on, bring them over quicker, guys. Come on. What do I pay you for? Right, this is what I wanted to show off. Look at this gosh darn model. Look at how beautiful that iridescence, that sheen is on that coat. That came out so awesome. And if you guys do have any black jaguars in your zoo, get this remaster. Like, I cannot recommend this enough. This turns this animal 
into one of the best ones in the game. Look how beautiful that is. Now, of course, with the advent of these new exhibit species, I do want to recommend that you guys join the modding server now more than ever, because we do have the experimental version of Axie 0.7, which allows you to actually use these exhibit species, these exhibit mods. I'm fairly certain they only work with that version of Axie, so you can only get that in the modding server. It will be on the Nexus eventually, but please join the modding server just so you guys can stay up to date with that, and so that you guys can get all the super cool new awesome new exhibit species mods look at them so yeah there's gonna be a ton of those in the future i bet i bet scott's gonna be working on some narwhaler probably has some more in the back of his mind i know i definitely have a few that i want to get coded but that is really it my friends that was an awesome showcase it really does feel like you know a new modding revolution has begun uh, we're going to end it with the little duckies over here because they are so freaking cute. But I want to thank you guys one last time for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy the showcase, be sure to drop a like in the comments down below. Drop a like in the comments. Drop a like and comment down below what your favorite new species was from this week. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now.